Everybody, how you doing? I just want to say I love you and God bless you. And I just speak life over you in the name of Jesus. But I wanted to share something. I um, I was at a gas station with my family and I saw a guy on a motorcycle in front of us. And, and I was feeling in my heart to pray for him. But then I started, you know, this is the enemy. and he, he's, he's a liar. He comes to kill and destroy and he comes to to take you away from doing God's will. And, and, and I started feeling that, ah, this guy ain't gonna want prayer. He's not gonna want, what I wanted to do was bless his bike, his motorcycle. I love doing motorcycle blessings. And uh, and then I was resisting. My, my first instinct was to walk over there and pray for him and offer um, a blessing, a bike blessing, if, you, if he'll accept it. And, and then there's this, other part of me was saying, nah, he ain't gonna want it. Look at him, he's a biker dude, you know, he, and, and and you can't judge a book by its cover, you know. And I wanted to know tell you that every time I want to pray for somebody and then there's this other other thought coming to me like they ain't gonna want it, this there's usually a big blessing coming from that. So, anyways, um, we we're getting ready to leave the store and I saw another guy pull up on a motorcycle. And I was looking at him, and I was like, walked right over. I didn't even think about it. I just walked right over. And um, I said, hey, man, how you doing? He's pumping gas. And I was like, he goes like, hello. And I go, I'm a street evangelist. Uh, I uh, uh, minister, and, and and I like to pray for people and bless people. And um, I was just wondering, would you like a, a bicycle blessing, a bike blessing? And he said, yeah, sure. So that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, there's There's been times where... I offer a bike blessing and they already got a bike blessing and one one person actually had their bike blessed by um, an uncle's brother that I know okay so um but anyways so I prayed over his bike uh, while he's pumping gas I said real quick we had to go he, he put the pump up then he bowed his head as I was finished I was halfway through the blessing and then I finished the blessing and he looked up and he said, thank you very much. And, uh, and, and this is awesome. You know, we never know. <laughs> we never know when when people come across us or we come across them. We never know. We That might be the last time they're alive. And, you know, I, I don't like to say that. I'm not declaring that over nobody. But you never know. You, you might be the last person that could bring Jesus to them. You might be the last person that's to speak a prayer or a blessing over them that will save their life. Um, so w when you're out there in ministry, when you're out there just wanting to love people uh, in the name of Jesus, then, then don't hold back, you know. Don't hold back. But it's, it's, it's practice, okay. So anyways, I got done blessing that guy's bike and, and, and blessing him. Um praying over him and his bike and, and, and his home and uh then I was gonna get in the car the door, door was already open um and, I, and instantly the once I prayed for one guy the second biker guy he was leaving and I was like oh man I didn't get to and I could hear the Lord say what if you don't pray for him and so I was almost gonna yell you know um almost gonna yell and say stop but I didn't have to because he just he slowed down and went to the parking lot of the of the gas station, and I guess he was having a smoke break. So I was like, "Whoa!" So I just went over there, and, I, and he got off his bike and he grabbed a cigarette and um and he started to light it. And I go, "Hey, buddy, how you doing?" He goes, "Hey, how are you?" And I was like, uh, "I'm a street minister." Um, uh, that's how I approach people a lot of times, um, and um. I said, can I give you a bike, a bike blessing? And he's like, yeah. So the whole time I was, I was resisting the Lord's instinct in my heart to go pray for him. And I was resisting and, and all along he was ready. He was ready um, to, to get a bike blessing. And so I prayed over his bike. He bowed his head. I told him, put your hand on your bike. So I'm gonna touch your bike. And I'm gonna bless both of you right now. So I bless his bike. I bless um, his bike and, and himself, and that he's safe and under God's protection. And uh, and and this is a wonderful feeling, you know. And um, he 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 opened his eyes like the other guy. You can see their countenance just change. It just changes. You know, I used to ride a motorcycle, and there was always like this little fear. Of, man, what if this is his day? You know, and I believe that. 
when you pray for somebody in their motorcycle, the fear is gone because they're just going to be trusting in the Lord. Amen. So uh, get out there and offer prayer blessings to motorcycle people. If they say no, say, all right, well, God bless you. Have a good one and walk away. You know, you, you still bless them, right? <laughs> but um, anyways, I love you and God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Uh, go share Jesus with somebody. Um, Luke 10, 2 says, uh, the harvest is plentiful, but there's not enough workers and laborers to bring in the harvest. So to pray, to pray, um, pray to the Lord of the harvest to send out more workers and laborers. Uh, to the harvest field um, I'm paraphrasing it It's kind of like it, was, it says it in Matthew 2 Matthew somewhere I'm thinking 30 I can't remember But anyways um, Just go love on somebody And, and everybody uh, The world is waiting For the sons and daughters of God To manifest Jesus Okay so go manifest Jesus. Go show them that God is love and love lives in you and you let that love flow. We're supposed to be rivers of, 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 of rivers of flowing water. We're supposed to be life, you know, rivers of flowing, constantly releasing, constantly getting filled, constantly flowing. Uh, we're not supposed to be lakes sitting there. You know, we're supposed to fill our cup always by doing God's word, by reading God's word, by having relationship. Anyways, I love you. Bye-bye. God bless.